presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Homosassa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We have a 98% gain in a year. And uh, I mean, you want 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good gain there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Create the perfect relationship between you and your body. Treat your body with all love, honor, gratitude, and respect. You only have one body, folks. When you make it your goal to adore your body and accept yourself completely, you'll learn to have the perfect relationship with anyone else you are with. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 104, NASDAQ off 827, SP's off 23. Gold, gold contract trading up $6.10 at 1782 an ounce. We got silver up 18 cents, $22.16 an ounce. Light sweet crude up 86 cents, $71.80 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year right now, flat 30 year up one at 161.10 and King Dollar. King Dollar is down 176 ticks, trading out at 9609, Euro 113, Yen 113 and a half, and a British pound 132 to one US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, it's the market that wants to get up to highs. We'll see how it. Can, well, we know how it's getting there. It's getting there with a, a dramatic drop on volume. There's no doubt about that. Bottom line, though, we're into this bar. The bar that we're into is the last high. The last high inside the SPY, 473.54. The low, 467.36. You can see we're at 468.90. That's saying, guess what? It wants that high. NDX 100. We go take a look at the NDX. Same type of setup inside the NDX. My take still is that the NDX is only going to be able to hand, handle the low of the high, which is uh, 399.19. In fact, let me do this. I want to put this on a weekly for a second. Okay, so on a weekly, it's saying we're going to go higher next week. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah. On a weekly, uh, the bottom line is that, uh, yeah, you're, you're into 89. That's saying he wants to go to the high. So it's not ready yet to basically sell into that market man this is a trip there's no doubt we'll see where this baby shakes out gold gold contract out here building cause for higher price uh we haven't had a huge amount of movement there's no two ways about that bottom line is that when i show you both of these lined up you can see the, the correlation and the correlations is you know it, it, it's there in spades so we take a look at this one here you're going to see that the gold contract's been going sideways right now for two and a half weeks okay um and what you have, which is subtle out here today, is that you got a small expansion of volume. We're down 137. You're up six bucks. We go into the dollar, and what you're going to see just the opposite. Okay. The bottom line is that that has been going sideways since the first leg down on the 26th of uh, November. Uh, today you gave it up again, and we'll see when you have a choppiness that like is like this, and you're going back and forth. Bottom line is that. Most times, as I said yesterday, if I had volume on this, I'd have a better indication of where this baby uh, wants to go. But uh, we gave it up on price again. That's saying that, guess what, Monday, it wants lower price. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here today, let's go take a look at it. You got uh, Apple's up 360. You got uh, AMC down uh, 290. Let's go look at AMC and see if it finally is going south. So... That's down 296. Okay, so you, at the lower end, of, you know, six months ago, AMC was, my God, $64. It's 26. This thing's not worth $10. Never mind. 
Okay, so the beginning of the breakout, I see. Now, okay, 13, 12 bucks is game again. That's how this works. One second, let me see this. That break, 367, 250, 226. Yeah, the, the selling's getting, sell getting less, but I suspect we're going to be uh, hitting that $12 area. That's how, it, that's how it looks out here. Let's go take a look at MP for our man Frank, Frank from Gloucester. Okay, so... MP is uh, MP materials, produce market, rare earth, specialty materials. The lows 23, the highs 51. Uh, this baby here, revenue wise, next time I come out is March 18th. They take in 350 million this year. They're looking to take 429 next year. Oh, look at this baby. Okay. Well, this is always nice. See, this is all. Just, okay, so you can check this out. This is like a classic, man. Yeah, it's going for the highs, Frank. I mean, this thing's going for the 51 bucks, 51.77. Um, this is a classic, folks, if you want to kind of look at how markets like to move. Okay, you had, you had a huge run up that, we, that started in uh, November, started at $10, gets all the way to 51, has volume up there, comes off the high with volume, comes back, had, you know, has some volume, but it's actually going against strength. Builds calls again. You get a little blurp. I'm, I'm on a weekly. Okay, you get a little blurp on the weekly. We get another one. This thing's going to go after its highs more than likely next week. We're at 47.83, and that 51 uh, is game out there. We're going to take a look at the, uh, let's see, what else volume-wise out here. So we have, uh, let's see. Microsoft, well, let's go to Microsoft up seven dollars. That's a monster. Citigroup's down one seventy. You get Robinhood up one uh, down one ninety six. So Microsoft. Okay, so Microsoft wants to hit a tie too. You know, Microsoft. Bottom line is that you're up twenty six million shares. You're at 340. The low of the bar of the high is 339.55. I bet. Okay, so let's go back inside the NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX 100. The lead is out here today. Oh, yeah, look at this Broadcom. Broadcom, what a monster. It's up 7.5%. You get Costco up 6%. Pindo will do is up 2.8. And Adobe's up 2.6. Taken away from it. Peloton's down 6.8. You got Moderna off 6%, DocuSign is down 4.2, and Lululemon is off 2.7. So let's, let's go to Broadcom first. This was just one monster move, man. Uh, they came out with numbers, good numbers. Uh, bottom line took some monster money to the bottom line. Oh, look at this. I should have seen this earlier. Just, so look at this, folks, okay? I hope some of the Tigers, the Tigers has got into this. On Wednesday, this broke a B point with volume. I mean, it's a monster, too. My God, hold on. look at this, 472, five, it's 105.8 a to B, which gives you six, 648. <sighs> Man, I don't know. Why did someone call me about that? Huh? Let's go. You got to start doing your job out there. Kidding, folks. Stay right there, folks. We come right back. We have the Dow Industrials up 133, NASDAQ up 35, S&P's up 27. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. 
The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials uh, finished up 132. You get the NASDAQ up 42. S&Ps are up uh, 28. Uh, bottom line, folks, you had the CPI come out this morning. So CPI is running 6.8% year over year. Uh, and something to just take into consideration, uh, depending on how long you've been in these markets, right? So if we look back inside of the markets when the Fed was even, you know, basically telling us that inflation was running at 2%. Because you've got to remember something. These, these CPI numbers that they give you, what you have is you have food, clothing, and, no, food and um, shelter is not in it. So it's like, okay, really? So, I, so we don't have a place to live. We, we don't have, we're not talking about food. The, C, the, the inflation is much larger than, my take is that it's much larger. And we're going to see that. Um, do you have the administration coming out today because that number come out uh, and saying that uh, they think that uh, President Biden said he thinks uh, it's a peak of the crisis. Uh, I think you'll see change sooner and quicker and meaning going lower than more people think. You know, listen, my take, it's not his fault. OK, it's not the this has been going on for a while. And what we had, we had program after program. Plenty of bread was out there. We all wanted the bread. We took the bread, okay? That, that's the bottom line. Uh, and that's worldwide, folks, okay? Um, and now there's more bread than there is supply. So that's a classic case of inflation. Inflation is absolutely through the whole system. And once inflation is through the whole system, folks, okay, um, it's, not, it's not going away overnight. There's just no way. It's a, that is, that's not how inflation works, okay? Uh, you have uh, Larry Summers out here saying that he thinks that, uh, um, and I'm not really a fan of Larry Summers, just so you know that, uh, but the bottom line is that uh, he's out there, he's been out there for a while, and he was correct for sure, that, hey, we're going to be in inflation. I, listen, man, you don't have to be an economist to understand your inflation. All you have to be is be out inside the economy. And he's looking that... We will be running at 4% per year, um, and he doesn't think it's going to back down. I think it's still going to be larger than that, and it's not going to get back down. That's, that's the real bottom line. Um, and we'll see where it shakes out. But uh, it's, it's, it's out here, and I suspect uh, the bottom line is going to be here for quite some time. It's going to be here until someone really puts the jam on it. And no one's going to put the jam on the economy um, this year, I don't think next year either. And if you've never seen the jam get put on an economy, 
I remember the first time that I saw this, that the Fed put the jam on the economy. And I was thinking, like, why are you doing that? What, what, you know, but the bottom line is that when it gets done, well, you better get out of the way, man. Because when it gets done, when that flow of bread, you know, you know what's interesting about this? Everyone complains about the flow of bread, but when the flow of bread stops, it's like a madhouse also. So we'll see where it's going to shake out. But inflation, you can, my take is you get 23 to 30%. I think what you have is this, is that we, we did one step up across everything. I mean a step up in a monster way. Then you're going to have smaller increases, okay? And the step up has been done. That's the, that's the real bottom line. The step up is that has actually been done. Um, okay, so, uh, yeah. And cause those co so companies are not going to go down on prices. Why would, it, it's just not going to, not, that's, that isn't how it works. You know, the, the companies are going to go up on prices. Um, you're going you're gonna to have, and, and employees are going to get more money. That's the bottom line. One, one of the, what we're going to see here, and it's about time we, we've seen it, is that, Large companies, CEOs, executives, all this, they're making way too much money compared to the, the man and woman on the street. With this is going to be a total flip around. And yes, I, I'm a union person, folks, so, so that's what you're hearing also. Okay, is the bottom line is that unions are established because companies in general, okay, won't pay people what they should be paid. You know, you know what drives me crazy? This is what really drives me crazy. You know, like Bezos, right? Bezos, smart beyond belief, okay? Bottom line, did the job. No one gave him anything. Did, I'm not taking any of that away. What I, when you go through this though, it's like, okay, so you do a foundation and you give money out to the foundation from the money that you're already made. Well, you know, like, why don't you give it to your workers first? Why don't you take care of your family first, your workers, your team? You take care of that before that, you know, you pull all this bread in and then all of a sudden you're like a big deal that you're giving your philanthropy and you're giving it out. Well, you probably, sh you probably should start with your family and your workers, you know. And we've seen that, I've seen that absolutely accelerate the last 20 to 30 years. And I think that's going to change. You know, meaning that, you know, workers are going to get together. Uh, if you saw the, did you see the statement um, by Schultz? Okay, so what's going to happen now is that you're going to have uh, Starbucks are going to start voting for a union. Um, and uh, Schultz comes out. Now, Schultz started Starbucks, okay? And, you know, no big companies want unions, that's for sure. So his quote, this was in the Wall Street Journal, I think, yesterday. So his quote was, why would you need someone else to, bottom line, represent you to talk to management? Well, that's pretty simple. <laughs> you know, you, you need someone to organize workers so that you can get more off the company. Because here, let's, let's just look at the couple of these. S-B-U-X. Let me just look at this. So if we look at Starbucks, and of course, this, is, this has to do with stock investors versus you know, I mean, because what ends up happening, you have to give more to the workers. What ends up happening, there's less for the shareholders. Okay, so here you go. So they take in $29 billion. They bring 324 to the bottom line. And they have, let's see. They have 383,000 employees. And you, you're paying, like, see, this, <laughs> this is still expensive. You're paying $33 one, for $1 of earning, you know. You get the gist of it, though, folks, and we'll see where this whole thing's going to shake out. Um, okay, so let's see. The, the CEO, what is it now, Dan? Do you know? Okay, so the Tigers are helping me out here. So uh, the CEO to work a rate was 58 to 1 at Amazon in 2020. Better than Walmart and CVS. Yeah. Look well, at Walmart's 983 to 1. That's pretty sick. Well... CVS is 434 to 1. That's pretty sick, too. Yeah. You can get the gist of it, though. That, and that has to stop. And the only way that can stop, guess what, is 
you get organized. You get organized and you say, listen, man, I'm going to shut them down. <laughs> and you go from there. We're going to see that we're in that era. This era has just started. Trust me. I know how this deal goes. Anyone that is from a union city or been involved in a union, this is how it goes. Um, my father was the general chairman of the New Haven Railroad Signalman. And so what a signalman does is this, folks. I, and I, I did it with him. I was so lucky. He brought me with him. And I used to walk the tracks, okay? So we would walk the tracks. And he was a mechanic, okay? So, you know, all those things you see, red lights and green lights. I, well, in the 50s, you have to do that by hand, okay? I'd walk the tracks. And guess what? You think the railroads would ever give those workers money? No. They needed a union. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors tfnn is excited about our new software charting program the art of timing the trade charts in collaboration with tom o'brien and using his best-selling book the art of timing the trade your ultimate trading mastery system david white has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology using this first of its kind program the art of timing the trade charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for fibonacci formation setups including gartley's abc's butterflies and much more the art of timing the trade charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now are trading up 152. You get the NASDAQ up 29. S&Ps are up 32. And the Justice Department, folks. So the Justice Department is launching a, a big criminal investigation about shot selling by hedge funds and research firms. Uh, this is such a bunch of BS, it's unbelievable, folks, okay? So check it out. This, this is like, uh, this is the ultimate of Wall Street getting the Justice Department involved in equities that uh, should be shotted. Uh, and because guess what? They're not going to make any money. Um, what is amazing here is that the, and so specifically what the Justice Department is looking for is this. They're looking for, let's say you had five different hedge funds. And those five different hedge funds uh, turn around and they call each other up on the phone and say, hey, we should shot this. This stock is no good. 
that type of behavior, folks, I don't see that happen. Uh, that's, that's the bottom line. Everyone knows inside of this business that um, those types of uh, charges against equities, um, my take is that, that they don't fly. Uh, most, most of this, and, and what the SEC is saying, I'm not the Justice Department saying, which is so weird, is, hey, let me see what that, okay. So, let me see this. Okay, so here it is. Government attorneys are trying to determine whether short sellers engage in some form of deception, say by misleading the public about financing uh, what appears to be independent research. Now, let's stop right there. Independent research, like when we talk about the long side of the market, let's talk Sparks. When you talk about Sparks, the Justice Department and the SEC folks just allowed for the last two and a half to three years, Sparks to go public and with just about zero disclosure. That's where they should, that's where they should have been, that's where they should be, okay? Um, and this is normal. I'm, I'm just bringing it up because if a lot of the, the meme traders, they're getting excited about this. This is like, that is so off the left-hand side. Um, and I'm not saying right, liberal, left. I'm just saying it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy because the bottom line is, is that there, 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 I would argue that there is more um, pushing and propaganda to go long stocks than there ever has been, ever, okay? Um, and, you know, the bottom line is that, um, you know, they don't do a thing about it. But that, that's how it's always been, by the way, too, with, with shots. That, that's just how it works. 877-927-6648. Let's go take a look at the XAU and the HUI. Uh, we have no help on these babies out here today. Again, uh, bottom line, the XAU trading down $1.33. We are at 123.87. Okay, so yesterday you did, let's see, 31 million. It coming at to 43. Okay, so today's going to be a little bit lighter. Let me go to Newmont for a second. Oh, that's good. Okay, Newmont's hanging up there. So that's actually sideways move today. That's that's really good. Let me look at Barrick. Okay, Barrick's lower. Barrick's lower by 22 cents. You do have lighter volume than yesterday. So that's saying that the XAU as well as the HUI are going to have lighter volume today, which we need. Uh, Gold Bugs Index right now, that's going after the last swing low that we've had out here about two weeks ago, a week and a half ago. That swing low, where we got 241 today or 242. Yesterday we had 25 million. You're going into 35 million. That's good. Okay, so it's going to be lighter volume. Now the question is, uh, the baby has to hold. That's, that's what it comes down to. The uh, NVIDIA, let's go take a look at NVIDIA. NVIDIA at all time highs, bottom line, it backs off. Uh, NVIDIA is going to go test the lower end of this consolidation, which is the uh, 280. Right now you're at 301. Uh, you know, two, Monday you're at uh, 324. Um, so this thing wants lower price, and we'll see how that baby uh, is going to shake out down, down, down at these lower levels. We go take a look at uh, the X, oh, XO, Exxon Mobil. Okay, so this, this one's higher price. Top of the range on Exxon Mobil, 66. You're tr trading 62. That's right, I expect it's going to go Halliburton. Same setup. Halliburton's going to need some more volume. But actually, Halliburton is looking like it's setting up an ABC structure on the way up. This is something you want to watch, folks. So it hasn't hit the B point yet. The B point's 23.94. Well, actually, we hit 23.98 today. It'll go after it again, though. That's what's going on. Okay, so here, well, let's watch this. So this is a good exercise so you can understand, like, how an ABC structure can get done. You have the A to B that's in place. Now, what you also have with Halliburton is this, is that you only pull back on one day. So that's a very strong equity that we just went from a price point of uh, $20 up to 
then you pull back yesterday, and then you are basically going after the B point again. So what you're going to see there, okay, is that if you, I suspect Monday or Tuesday, keep an eye on it, because the bottom line is that you get a 4.8 A to B, which would get you about $27, and that's, 27 is the high? Yeah, 26.67. Um, so that's saying that, guess what? The, but the bottom line is that this thing wants to go up to highs. That's, a, that's the way this thing is shaking out right now. Uh, so you can get some real action here. Let's see. Let's go take a look at uh, Disney. There's a question on Disney. Is it going to fill the gap at 129? You're at 152. We put this on a weekly. Okay, so it came down there on a weekly with 142 million. You were going into 98, rejected it the first time. Well, it's going to be, it's, got, it's, a, it's a close call. I mean, the, the one, oh, oh, one second. One twenty, yeah, no, the, that, can be, that can get filled. Yeah, there's no, there's, it can get filled. So what you're going to want to see now is this. My take right now, Disney's off the lows. You, you've had a correction, okay? Let me see. So if we broke that. Oh, this is pretty cool. One second, hold on. So let's do this. Watch this. Disney was an ABC down. So a point on Disney was 203, the high. 203 down to 167. So what do we got? That's 37. That's uh, 30, uh, 40 bucks, right? Then the C is 187. So it gets you 147, and we hit 142. Okay, this is cool, man. So what we did here... You did a full ABC structure on the way down. You can see we broke the B point. We broke that B point the week of the 13th of uh, November. It's always cool, folks, when you finish an ABC structure because whatever way it's going, most times it changes and just goes the opposite way. Uh, and that's exactly what we just had uh, in Disney. And, you know, my take now is that Disney is going to try to make a run like this 168 that's going to be the range it's going to try to get back inside. And we'll see whether that uh, can make it back inside that area. And, you know, if, if let's picture it gets up close to that and you have a big contraction of volume, then you'd have to worry about for sure that, okay, is it going to come back down and fill, fill this gap? Stay right there, folks. We'll come back, right back with John from Orlando. We're going to be talking about RBLX. Dow Industrial is up 178, NASDAQ up 78, SP is up 35. We'll come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? 
Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call, call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm Orion. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 181. The Nasdaq's up 80. S&Ps are up 36. Let's go to our man John in Orlando. John, what's going on, brother? Good afternoon, uh, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great. How you been, man? Good, good. Uh, staying alive, staying safe, you know? Staying alive's a good thing, man. That's that's a that's a good thing to do. I'm really happy to hear that, man. <laughs> We're yep, all happy. Yep, yep. I know, man. Seriously. Uh, I I got an options on uh, one year out on uh, Roblex, RBLX. What do you what do you think of it as a stock, as a company? Well, the good news is you're out. You're out a year. The uh, the low is sixty dollars. The high is one forty one. You know, bottom line is that they have some monster growth going on. There's no doubt about that. You can take a look at it. I mean, five years ago they did three hundred twenty five million. This year they're going to do two point six billion. They're going to do three point one billion next year. But the bar, you know, but they still lose money, and they're going to lose money next year also. Now, they're saying fundamentally they're going to lose less money. The, the first, this year they're losing two twenty five cents a share. Next year, 16 cents a share. Now, what they have, you can see this growth. This growth is big. They're growing 20% in the United States. They're growing 30% in Europe. They're growing uh, almost 30% in Asia. So uh, those numbers are there. That being said, John, um, this thing is dangerous, man. You know, you had a big seller right off the high. When you get volume off the high, it's a problem. We, and you did here. We went from that 144 to 117, down hard. Um, and then you got this monster gap, man. That gap at seventy six dollars is uh, is seventy nine dollars is game, you know, because right. that was the initial right, breakout, right. you know. So, you know, and what happens when you get what happens if he has a year out, folks, which is a which is an option leap. And so, what happens, which is pretty cool. Have you done these before, John? Uh, this is the first time. Okay, so watch what you're gonna see. This is what's cool. cool. So listen to this. You're going to see that price. Let's say the price goes down like that. You're not going to see the option go down that much, you know, which is pretty cool. Right. Be so because what happens, oh. folks, on a leap is that is that the delta inside of meaning the delta means that the what the option moves versus the stock moves. OK. And if you have TD Ameritrade, it'll, it'll show you right there what what the value of the delta is. OK. And the, the, so yeah. just to explain for a second, the value of the delta could be like 10 percent. So that means if the stock moves a dollar, the, the, the option's only going to move, you know, 10 cents. So the good news is that you're not going to see it move that much, even when it gets down there, um, because the way that leaps really work is that you're not going to see a lot of price movement in the leap until about 90 days before that expiration. I mean, unless you get a, a dramatic move topside. That's how they, that's how they oh, work. Oh, I see. Yeah. I used to, I listen, see. I used to do a lot of them. In the 90s, then I got just frustrated because it's like, oh, man, you know, when I first started doing them, I was thinking, OK, if the stock moves up ten dollars, you know, you're going to get some action. And it's like it doesn't move, man. You know, but they're, they're, listen, inside a portfolio, it's a good thing to have. I'm not, you know, uh, discounting it, um, but you just really got to understand, like if that stock moves ten or twenty dollars, once you understand what the delta is, you might only get a, you know, 15 cent move. So, right. Yeah, but uh, in 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 general, the what do you think of the market? Is it are we in a bearish uh, kind of tone, or uh, is this just a correction? 
I would say it's a correction. I, I, it's a, this is a great question, man. I, I, I am not in the camp, okay, that we are going to go into a, like a two to three year bear market. Um, I'm in the camp that we could have a two year consolidation. You know, two years goes pretty right. quick. You could go, you could go sideways for two years, and if we were going to do that, I'll pull this up. I mean, some people will think this is pretty bad, um, but if we put this up, because because see what has happened, folks, is this: we haven't had one real ten to fifteen percent correction inside the S and P since the lows that were established in two thousand and six. <laughs> so. There's plenty of people that have never seen a correction, <laughs> you know, which is amazing. So it's like, right. okay, you know, to me, you know, on the cash S and P, you know, you could get down to what forty three hundred, real easy. You know, I mean, that, oh, okay. that, that's yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. I, I, and, I, I, yeah. you know, then I think you're just going to sideways move. If you if you actually look at when you you'll, when you look at this market, what you're going to see is this. Here, I'm going to mock this up right now. This is pretty cool. So. If you're watching TFNN, yeah, let me just show you this, how the market consolidated, then went higher again, then consolidated and went higher again. Watch this. Oh, close that one. Let me do this one. Okay. Okay. So when you're looking at this, right, actually, let me do this one because this, this did it too right here. This, this will basically... Okay, so when we came off the lows, you're going to see that we, we came off the, so the low is 666 inside the cash S&P. You came off the low in, what is that? That's 2000, that's, it was March 10th, actually, March 10th, 2009. We ran all the way up till May, almost a, a, more than a full year. And then we consolidated from May of 2010 all the way over to uh, May of 2012 was a two-year consolidation. Look at that. Then you made the next late leap up. Then we went, folks, on a cash S&P. We went from 1266 all the way up to 2134. You almost went 900 points up. Then what do we do? We consolidated from uh, May of 14 over to May of, uh, no, August of 16. Then what do we do? Your bottom line is that we went from a price point of uh, 1800 all the way up to uh, 2,900. Then what do you do? You consolidated for, what's this, February of 2018 over to uh, August of 2020. And then we made the run. So I'm looking for another couple year consolidation. You know? Wow, okay, okay, good explanation. Yeah, it's pretty, um, it, it, for all of us investors and traders, folks, this is, something you really should wrap your head around because i remember when i first started in the business and i remember um i had john bollinger on this is i'm going back to 1997 or something 1990 uh actually it was it was 96 i had him on a lot during that time anyway he was he was talking about that the market was going to go into consolidation he was absolutely right that's what ended up happening and i was like mentally i was going out of my mind like, what do you mean? Because I don't want to hear a consolidation. Well, what you get to understand is that consolidations are really good because it digests what you have. And people don't lose a lot of money as long as they're, you know, not like buying highs and selling the bottom of the consolidation. OK, if they realize the consolidation, OK, it takes time. And that's where the whole building cause comes up for the next level up. And that's kind of my point that once you're in the market for a while, you realize you don't you want consolidations. Consolidations are great for markets. They're, they're fabulous, okay? They get a whole base going, you go up to the next level, okay? And, you know, if you have that, that's a very healthy market. And you can see when we just went through that exercise, the bottom line is that, you know, we've had a great run. And so if you consolidate for two years, that's no big deal. And then, bang, then you go again. Cooking, brother. Right. You have a happy holidays, okay? Have a Merry Christmas, man. Can't believe it. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. is right here. Ho, ho, ho! Dow Industrials up 211. NASDAQ up 92. S&P's up 41. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis the tiger first mortgage program may be the program for you the best rate on a five-year cd in the country right now according to bankrate.com is paying one percent per year or one thousand dollars per one hundred thousand dollars invested the tiger first mortgage program pays seven percent per year paid monthly on secured high value buildable properties in saint petersburg florida the investment is for four years, paying 7% per year or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up 193. Nasdaq's up 91. S&P's are up 39. And what you're going to have in the S&Ps, folks, this is pretty cool, man. They're char it's charging uh, higher. Uh, that being said, uh, bottom line is that you are going to have a uh, last engulfing uh, on, a week on a daily basis. Let me see what you got on a weekly basis. So what that sets up, okay, is that's a warning sign that this high can be basically come back. You're going to see, uh, you know, when you take a look at the, the daily out here, you know, we had a low of... 46.57, and you're going to close at highs. Uh, let's do the weekly and see what happens here in the weekly. Oh, yeah. Yep. Look at this. This is the last engulfing in a weekly, too. This is a dangerous one, man. <laughs> I suspect first you're still going to go to highs. That's my take here. Uh, this S&P wants to go to highs. But if you are a candlestick person, that is not a... a as not a bullish occurrence, folks, right there. It looks, it's a bullish occurrence if it happened at lows, not at highs, you know, so we'll see where it shakes out. Expedia, let's go take a look at Expedia for a couple of the targets out here. So Expedia, what you have is that this is a consolidation. Now, this is you, this, you absolutely want to get your head wrapped around this, okay? When you, when you gap all over the place, see how this it gapped up, it gapped higher, going back in November, it gapped lower, at the beginning of November, it gapped higher. End of November, it gapped lower. That's what consolidations do. So this is really cool that this was brought up to look at because this is, a, you know, I remember when I, someone taught me this years ago, okay? 
and I forget who it was, but it, it's really cool because when you understand that, the bottom line is that if you get to tops of consolidations, you can decide, you know, should I sell some out? When you get to bottoms, you don't have to be worried about, well, you always be worried when you're in the marketplace, but what I mean is that you could pull the trigger and in Expedia's case, the bottom line is that, yeah, I suspect this can build more cars and, you know, it, it can get higher. That's the, broad, that's the bottom line. That's the bottom line, man. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out the bull can run you over. And thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great weekend. Have a safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning. Kicks us off 9 in the morning. And I'm going to bring my $10 Starbucks. And I hope they do get a union. Yeah, we'll get them, folks. Building